Hey, Jack228 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own energy balls. So first you're going to get seven soaked in water dates. Um, you're going to need to soak them in water for half an hour and put them in the food processor. Then get a quarter cup of almonds, a quarter cup of almonds, and put them in the food processor as well. Then you're going to get some pumpkin seeds, a quarter cup to be precise, and put them in your food processor. And then you're going to pulse them. like until they're really mixed together and uh, then just stop pulsing. Okay, once you get halfway through, just scrape the sides down because it's going to all splatter all over the sides. So just... Like I think that. next time we do it, we might um, whiz the pumpkin seeds up first so they, they stay pretty much whole. Yeah. Right, you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Our dog's going crazy because he hates the food processor. Okay. Just a bit more. Okay, that's good there. Alright, so what's next? Next is a quarter cup of hemp seeds. So. Yeah. You can get hemp hearts, so well, hemp seeds are better though. I don't like it. Pull that. So just a quarter cup again. And then <coughs> get that. Don't pulse yet. Um, how about if we add more of these uh, hemp hearts because we only got <coughs> a few left and less of the, um, what are these called? Flax seeds. Because flax seeds wasn't called for really. No. Okay, so just add the another quarter cup of the hemp seeds and like, you don't need to use flax seeds really. And then we you get, in, well yeah, you can put a few flax seeds in, but we prefer just to use the hemp seeds. Then get a quarter cup of raspberries. I mean, uh, cranberries, like so. If you can open the bag. Yeah, if you can open the bag. You want me to put them in? Or? Oh, no, I can open it. So, a quarter cup again, just like the rest of them. Get it like that. Make sure they're all in. What, you going to drop some off the side and the bottom if you're not careful? Okay, just give it a stir around if you didn't group them out or like space them out. Then what you're going to get is a quarter cup of chia seeds, but are we going to use those? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, a quarter that's cup of chia, chia seeds. That's not chia seeds, that's flax seeds. Wait, where are the chia Chias seeds? Chias are over there. Quarter cup of chia seeds. Ooh, these look like poppy seeds. Yeah, they're super good for you. Uh, chia seeds and chia. hemp hearts and flax seeds are su all super good for you. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are, like, really taste good. So I get a quarter cup of your chia seeds, like so, 
make sure they don't drop because they're really runny. And pour them in like this. So then they're really spaced out if you like drizzle them around. You have to seal that up because they're expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mmm. These are really good. Right, what else? So then, you're gonna get a teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon of cocoa. Well, we're not doing that because Dad, Jack's dad can't eat um, cocoa. So yeah. we're just gonna do it without it, but they are delicious if you do it with cocoa. Yeah. Yeah, my dad can't eat it. Wait, okay, so... If no one in your, I mean, if someone in your family can't eat cocoa or is allergic to cocoa or something, you don't need to use it. But they're really nice with cocoa. And then you put one cup of unsweetened coconut into the mix. So one cup, people. That's a lot of unsweetened coconut. Again, coconut is very good for you. Coconut is really good. For you. Plus, it tastes pretty good. Mm. Some yeah. people don't like it, but it tastes pretty good. It really adds flavor to the um, to this recipe. And then again, if you didn't evenly space it, just give it a stir. See what I might mean about pouring it on top, because that bit doesn't actually get mixed, so don't pour it on top of this uh, post. Right, was it up again? Oh, uh, cinnamon. Okay, then you get a teaspoon, wait, yeah, is that, a tea, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Oh, I'm going to upload a really funny cinnamon video, it's me. Um, I had the cinnamon experience of my life. <laughs> Mini cinnamon challenge. Yeah, mini cinnamon challenge. Check it out. Don't don't do it. It's dangerous. No, do it. It's don't. fun. Fun. Do it. Do mm. it. Oh, in fact, I don't know. Hang on a second. I think we might add um, half a teaspoon because remember last time we made it um, oh, yeah. double the quantity, didn't we? Okay, so instead of one teaspoon, because um, like it's really. Spicy. Strong. Yeah, strong. Get half a teaspoon. <clears throat> That's half a tablespoon, isn't it? TBS. Oh, yeah. A Get half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Because one teaspoon is way too overpowering. Or you can experiment. If you like cinnamon, you can try it at different, different strengths. Yeah. But... Um, I would prefer just having half a teaspoon because one teaspoon is way too overpowered, in my opinion. 